You guys know what this is? We should all know what this is. You know, standard five, five, six round. Not too bad. We all love our ARs, you know? The question is, do you guys know what this is? This is a 50 BMG. We're gonna move forward to the video. Insane. What's up guys, welcome back. It's your boy Kick Up Dust. I got another review for you guys. This one's a good one. It's a decent one. Nah, it's a good one, it's a good one, it's a good one. So, today, man, I don't even know how to start this. I'ma just go for it, it is what it is. Today, we are reviewing a Barrett 50 cow. That's right, I said it, I said it a Barrett 50 cal. Oh, you don't believe me? Okay, check this out. We're gonna back it up because this thing's kind of big. It's kind of big. There we go. Ah. Oh, man, this thing is heavy. We're just gonna perch this. Oh, can't even hit in the walls and stuff. This thing is a monster. This is a Barrett 50 cal, semi-automatic. It's clear, M-A-A-2-A-1, the long boy. I believe the barrel is 29 inches long. It, uh, yeah, this thing speaks for itself. This is, it takes 50 BMG. This thing is, this is Thor's hammer. If you guys don't know who Thor is, go watch Avengers. See what that hammer does. This is Thor's hammer. This thing is absolutely no joke it is an absolute animal this thing is a monster in a good way in a good way um yeah it has a a mark 5ht 735 by 56 leopold scope on it with some leopold rings uh this thing is a monster like it is a i just can't stop saying it's a monster uh, as far as recoil wise, despite what videos may show and see and you see or whatever, the recoil is not bad. It has a very heavy buffer weight with a very large buffer spring and reciprocating barrel. It is absolutely madness. Uh, as far as, I don't know how far this thing can shoot. Um, never tested it. You guys, some of you guys in the comments, if you have one or you know somebody with one or you verified a long distance shot, it, uh, this thing can travel. It could definitely travel. As far as weight wise, it is a tank. It is heavy. It is very heavy. Hold, holding it like that, you could only hold it for a few before you get the shakes. But um, yeah, it has this uh this sturdy bipod that has adjustments. You can adjust it every which way you need to. Um, it, it, the trigger the trigger pull on it isn't too hateful, believe it or not. Oh, uh, safety's on. It, it's it's not too bad, not too hateful. Uh, this thing. When you store it, you have to take it apart. There's pins here, and there's a pin on the bottom of the stock. Let me not hit my ceiling. There's a pin right there. This thing is an absolute monster with a monstrous muzzle break. Oh, there's a case. What an absolute muzzle break. When you shoot this thing, uh, obviously the best place to be is not in front of it. That's obvious. But if you're behind somebody, you don't want to stand directly off to the left and directly off to the right because the break and the percussion, concussion, whatever you want to call it, that comes out, you're going to feel it. And the air that flies off, comes out, will knock your hat off. It, it, you're going to feel it in your chest. It shakes the ground. It is absolutely insane. We're going to get some uh, videos of uh, shooting this. 
sooner or later, but I just wanted to get this out, you know, show you guys and give you a nice little view. The Barrett 50 cow. Yeah, this thing's amazing. It's absolutely insane. Shout out to Dudley from MD Arsenal. All the guys from MD Arsenal, super dope dudes. Uh, if you guys are ever in the DMV, DC, Maryland, Virginia area, hit up MD Arsenal. You know, they got a range, the facilities beautiful. They got everything you need, one-stop shop. <laughs> Shout out to those guys. But uh, until next time, guys, later.